So we heard from one of you that you've noticed that the comments have been disabled and YouTube has been in a state of fluctuation between allowing some comments on some videos and then no comments on other videos. I'm not sure why, um, why or how they choose. I'm thinking it's because the children are in some and the children aren't in others. Like my pregnancy, um, not pregnancy, the birth Q&A, which has no children in it, they disable the comments. However, the thumbnail had a picture of a child in it, so I'm not sure how their algorithm is. I think they're in the process of trying to fix that, so we can have comments on videos that don't have children in it, but for the time being, we are asking you guys if you'd like to communicate with us, which we love hearing from our viewers. This is, this is extremely disappointing to us because the highlight of my day is picking up my iPad and seeing what you guys have to say because it's just, that's what we love to do. And so not being able to hear from you guys is actually really disappointing. So we are encouraging you to either find us on Facebook or Instagram. The links are in all of our videos and go ahead and comment there. You can send me a private message there if you want. Um, I've been trying to post the video that just went on YouTube within Facebook, not so much on Instagram, but definitely on Facebook. And feel free to just comment on that post and then we can just kind of have a conversation there until YouTube can get this straightened out um, because we really do. We love hearing from you guys. And I had one of you guys write tonight saying, what's going on? So that's the scoop. We're just kind of holding our own, waiting until YouTube can figure it out. So in the meantime, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Good morning. It is Thursday. Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday morning. The three older girls have gone to the local nursing home to cook for the residents there. So they're working on that this morning. And I am attempting to tackle some of Daniel's clothes because we've been gifted some different size clothing from a friend of ours. So I'm trying to sort those out so I can find them when I need them. And I just put Daniel in bed. I'm He's fussing a little bit, but I'm letting him fuss a little bit just to see if he can uh, fall asleep. And Lillian, John's helping watch Lillian for a minute. And Grace is working on her ABC mouse. So while those are all situated, I'm gonna attempt to get this done fairly quickly. I'll show you what I'm working on. So I have a pile of clothes here. I do need to go through the dresser. And then I have another bag here that I just need to sort out. I think a lot of these are six to nine and 18 months. And then from John's project in his room, I have a couple of these storage boxes. So I think I'm going to see if they will fit under Miss Grace's bed here where I have Daniel's clothes in her room and then just label these the sizes so I can get them easily without having to struggle. That's my plan at least for the moment. I'm not sure how well it will work, but I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, the boxes do not fit under her bed by about that much. So I think I'm gonna see if I can just leave them on top of the dresser because they look nice and neat and tidy that way. That's at least my plan, but at least I'll organize the clothes. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. So about two hours later, I am finally pretty well done with that. I'll show you what I did. I ended up putting them on top of his dresser, so I think that will work. You can go downstairs, that's fine. 
So the last thing I need to do is just actually move the label and put on here what's in here. So this box is um, Daniel's three to six months clothing. So he'll be in that shortly. And then in this box, this is just some of our bigger size clothing bibs, things like that he's gonna use in the future, but we're not gonna need for probably another three or so months. So I have those two boxes here. I still need to find probably a basket for his toys and things like that. And then I went ahead and sorted out all of his drawers. And then I have a few items that I need to hang up. But I ended up having to take care of Daniel halfway through, so just kind of slowed down the progress. But I think all the boys, the little Daniel clothes, are all taken care of for the time being, which is good because it's lunchtime now. I'll take you downstairs and we'll get cooking. Some of the kids are gone today because they're at cooking. So we have just some leftover fried rice. We're going to have some sandwiches, some salad, some pickles, and probably some donuts for dessert. Working on making pie crust. One, two. What's the pie crust for? Our deep fish ham pie tonight. Is that going to be dinner? That's the plan. I think that'll be good. All right, that makes dinner a little bit simpler. Can we have the ice? Sure, you guys can eat the ice. <laughs> and this is made so I can do it later. Art, this is saving. <laughs> this is hopefully saving me time because Daniel's going to need me in a minute. So I figured if I make the pie crust now, then it's just quickly assembling and baking it. And even the boys could, or Lydia could help assemble. She's already done the eggs. So, what we're gonna do now. That's a lot. It is, and this is a, uh, this is actually like a quadruple batch. But pie crust freezes. And I think what I'm gonna do is just freeze it. So, freeze some of it, what I don't use. So I have it for a recipe next week. Maybe we could do like chicken pot pie or something like that. How does that sound? Sounds good. It looks like mashed potatoes. It's not mashed potatoes. We're just going to pull it all together. This is not the usual way I make pie crust, but this is called I'm in a hurry. Mommy. Did you know that, Lydia? Mommy's in a hurry. Yeah. When are you going to make it? This afternoon. Can I shape it? Yep. Go ahead and carefully press it to, into a shape. Into a, into a circle or into a circle or a ball. We're gonna cut that and we'll roll it out later. But this just holds it together, and then we're gonna chill it. And do you know why we're gonna chill it? So we need to be better. For so the people. butter can stay nice and cold, and then when we bake it, it's nice and flaky. <laughs> now this may not work because I'm using my high gluten, my high gluten flour, but that's what I had at the moment. So whoop, that's what we get. This is the best. That's good, Lydia. And and what are you doing that's so exciting? <laughs> I'm making the sauce for the um, for the pie. So just salt, pepper, ground mustard. Oh, about that much. That looks about right. And then we're gonna cook uh, this for a minute. You can tell Janelle is hurrying because yeah. it's already 5:08. We like to be eating by about five or a little thereafter, but yeah. not today. No, no, I just, I, with Daniel, I've been, <laughs> this is not a hard recipe, but it's sort of time consuming, time consuming because you had to cook the eggs and you have to dice up the ham. So what we're doing here is we're just cooking the flour for just a minute so it doesn't taste floury because nobody likes floury. And then we're going to add the milk to it. And then we're going to cook this until it's thickened. Then we're going to start adding the other things. And that's pretty much the extent of it. It's just the prep work of the, I'm cutting the ham, making the hard boiled eggs. Now I cooked the eggs, was it yesterday? I think I did the hard boiled eggs yesterday. So that's already taken care of. I already diced the ham while Daniel was sleeping. So the trick is just getting it all assembled. But I had Daniel for a good chunk of the afternoon and just the assembly didn't happen. So we're assembling it now. Charity's helping with the pie crust, getting that done, and we'll get this cooking. It'll probably be in the oven in about five minutes. So with all the helpers, 
I think we're going to get this done ours. Charity is working on the crust right now with a little help from Lillian. Thank you girls for your help. And John is setting the table. Lillian, are you helping Charity work on the crust? Some thick. All right, now we're gonna add the ham and the peas. That's a lot of ham. Yeah, it's a good way to use it up, though. That was a big ham we had. And if I have extra, like if it's overflowing the nine by thirteen container, then I might just make another batch and freeze it. Or, okay. So then we'll have a meal for later. Okay, I think it will be overflowing it. And we like a lot of peas in there. Yep. Let's see how that's doing that. Oh, I think we're going to need more peas. And if you don't have peas or you only have mixed vegetables, you can do that too. It doesn't have to be just peas. It's whatever you have. It's just the concept. And somebody's bringing a chair over to see what's going on. Do you need any, oh, do you need any more uh, mustard in there? <laughs> no. Would you like to put a pinch of salt in? Put a pinch. Put it in the pot. Oh, thank you very much. Good job. Now we just need to get our eggs and put them in. Okay. There we go. Well, I have to slice them first, sweetheart, okay? Now, if I was really being fussy, I would be really consistent with my cutting, but I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, thank you. Two more eggs. Can I have the other one too, please? Thank you. So cold. That's so cold. <laughs> All right. You got your happy birthday plate. Yeah, that's what came out. And that's what we used. After all, Peter's birthday is coming up. <gasps> What do you think about that? Your mm -hmm. big brother's gonna be 11 years old. Fucking him. Are we gonna sing to him? Yeah. What should we sing? Birthday secrets. What should we sing to him? Birthday secrets. What did she say? What did you say? Birthday secrets. Bird birthday Peters? No, birthday secrets. Should we sing happy birthday to Peter? Yeah. Yes, I think we should. And that one is... Should we make him a birthday cake? Yeah. Mmm. It's candles. Candles, we'll put candles in it and Peter will blow them out, right? <gasps> like that? Yeah. Okay. Down there. Down there, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes Lillian, moving oh, the chair. What's that? Uh, I don't know. What's that? I don't know what that is. That. You mean the paper towels? No, that. A coffee maker. My coffee maker, kiddo? No, that. I think you're looking at my coffee maker, sweetheart. All right, I think we're going to fit it all in our... Oh, wow. And that's good. That was a lot of stuff. I will have leftovers for tomorrow night, and I don't have to cook. Oh, that's the the um, not the blender, um, the the mixer. Oh, by hand mixer. Is that what she's talking yes. about? Yes, that's the thing you make birthday cakes with. Oh, the, the frosting. Right. That's what she's talking about. Capital. I'll put the recipe in. I'll put the link in the description below. I'll probably give you guys the modified and then the normal recipe. 
because, well, and Janelle, Most people don't cook that much. Yes. Janelle does not always follow recipes to a tea, so we'll do large family style and then just regular normal people style. Oh, someone's helping, Mommy. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put it over like that. How does that look? Good. Does that look yummy? A pinch. Yeah. This does not have to be beautiful. This is kind of a rust, more of a rustic dish. A pinch, Mommy. A pinch. A pinch. So we'll just tuck that in like that. Simple, simple. Simple, simple. Can you say simple, simple? Simple, simple. Simple, simple and made with lots of love. Did you help love it? A pinch, Mommy. A pinch. This pinch. Alright, and if you really want to get fancy, you can kind of pinch the edges together. And go down there. What's down there? Daddy go down there. <laughs> oh, the Daddy. basement, right. <laughs> Daddy goes down there. Daddy does basement. go down the basement quite a bit. What's that? And this is not, I am not putting, <laughs> making this the most beautiful pastry in the world. We're just getting going. That's right, Lily. Actually, you take your fingers like this and you push it in between, like that. Wait. See that? See how Mommy made the pretty ripples yeah. all the way around? All right, good enough. We have to write um, H for ham. I go into Eva. Do you like ham? Yeah. H. A. M. M. That's right, ham. H. How did she know that? She just said ham. Four, three. There we go. Ham. Does that look pretty good? Yeah. Yes, it does. It will work. Okay, let's get this sucker in there and start cooking it. And it's going to cook for about 25 minutes. Look at that. We'll be eating before 6 o'clock. Phew. And then off, off to training we go tonight. I think it's done. Oh yeah, it's a bubbling and spilling over. Classic Janelle fashion, making a mess. There it goes. Ugh. Watch out, Thumper. And it's not even six o'clock yet. And this is what's for dinner tonight. The ham casserole, the salad, and some applesauce. Some homemade applesauce. I can't wait. Oh, and carrots.